I'm gonna just relax, man. You know, I, I already explained what's happening. I'm sure you guys understand. And we defeated it in a minute. Yeah. Hello, Internet! And today, we got an early showcase of Yanagi. Firstly, design-wise, holy, arrest me. I'll tell you right now, Zenless probably has, like, the most bombastic designs. So, here was Tsukishiro Yanagi. Before we start the disclaimer, everything is here from the Creator Experience server, so things are subject to change. I'll just show you every bit of the text there is if you want to, like, just know what she does. And I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the more complex characters that you gotta actually know what you're doing in order to maximize her value. And yeah, you kinda have to, like, just adapt as you go. And yeah, it's a lot of text, so I'm not gonna even, like, read everything to you, but here's the few important things about her kit, though. Firstly, to look at her ultimate, there is an effect named Polarity Disorder, and it's based on the current disorder, or rather, anomaly effect, right? I'm sure what that means later, but it's 3,200% of Yanagi's anomaly proficiency. That is cracked up. Another thing that's core with her would be her core passive, for sure. After X special attack, you get 250% disorder damage multiplier increase, so that's why you want to use her in a disorder team. Of course, you get a lot more buffs if you use her X special attack, and we got electric damage bonus too. A lot of value will come from her X special attack, which you only gotta hold to activate. Just hold your skill button. And then again, you'll see here Polarity Disorder. This is what it does as well. You're gonna trigger a lot of disorder damage. And the final big thing about her will be with her basic, where she has two stats, Jogen and Kagen. You can switch between these stances by simply using a skill or using your X special attack. Those are the two main ways you wanna change your stances. And it doesn't even matter which stance you're using. You wanna use two of them consistently, so you gain both sides of the buffs. Basically, you gotta swap every 8 seconds. And that is like the main engine though, but I would have to show you for you to understand. You gotta pay attention, okay? Teacher's in the room here. You can tell she's a teacher by the glasses. For the stats, these are all I've got. 365 anomaly proficiency, that's the main thing you need. Some attack as well is certainly nice. Equipment-wise, this is your weapon, which these are the information. And yeah, you read that it's electric anomaly build-up rate increasing by 30, yeah? Paired with her additional ability here that says electric anomaly build-up increases by 45 if you have another anomaly character in the team. That is a bunch of anomaly build up, right? That is why you don't even need, like, anomaly mastery here. These are all my individual pieces. I've got electric damage bonus, but although pen ratio should be better, anomaly proficiency because the damage is scal scaling off of this one. But you don't really need anomaly mastery because you've got a lot of build up rate increase already. And yeah, apologies, but there's a lot of yapping here because she is quite complicated, in my opinion. But yeah, here are her, um, cinema, if you are wondering. These are stuff that I will probably never obtain, but if you're wondering about the information, these are the information. And, and the final one. There we go. And the team Yanagi is best in would be this. Yanagi, Brain Rot, and Rina. Now, the idea behind this team would be a multi-disorder team. You're using Bernie's to land a burn and then use your disorder Yanagi to activate the special polarity disorder based on Bernie's burn. And then she herself can land a bunch of like, you know, anomalies as well. However, though, before we start, we need to take a look at the thing under her icon. These two dots here stands for her stat. So left side is one stat, right side is the other stat. There's a blue colored icon that's bright right now. That means it's the buff effect of this current stance. If you swap it, the right side icon is going to go bright. And that is when you have the buffs from both stances. To swap your stances, you want to practice this. One basic, two, three, and then E. There we go. That's the fastest way for you to swap them. And you'll see both dots here being lightened up. This is when you have both sides of the buffs. Long story short, you got to make sure they're both bright as long as possible. Right now, it's already been eight seconds. So the first stance's buff already ran out. And you can tell by whether or not the dot is shining. That was a lot of yapping, man. Now, it was kind of needed, though. Now, for me to showcase this, we're up against weaker enemies. But you start with Bernice, right? I hope they don't just die. But you start with this. They're going to have the afterburn effect. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. You go to Rena now. Buff them up. Up, and then you go to Yanagi. That's how you want to trigger them, but they're already dead. You know what? Just keep that going in mind. I gotta find some stronger enemies here. And here we're gonna be fighting level 65 enemies. You want to start with Bernice. Do your double flame through it. Get the afterburn effect right here. Go to your buffer and Rina here and go to Yanagi right away. You want to instantly hold your E to do this. And you know this right there. I gotta pause right here because there's a lot of things going on. As I use my X special attack, I trigger polarity disorder. And the damage that appeared there is based on the burn effect from Bernice. And look at the damage. That's a lie. And as I use the X special attack by holding it, Yanagi actually switches stance as well. You can tell by how both dots are shining below Yanagi's icon here. This means that I have all her buffs and she's doing the most damage. After of which, Yanagi will also enter the Shinra Bansho state, lasting for 15 seconds. And basically what that means is your basic attack will never reset fully. It will only go to 1 till 5, then go back to 3, and then to 5, 3 to 5, 3 to 5, something like that. And this is really good because I'm going to show you right now, I 
I can only go from 3 to 5. I still have both my stances. And they're all electric damage, right? This is good because, you know, you want to, like, land those anomalies. There we go. The shot has finally landed. It's really consistent. And now that I'm running out of the sh um, Shinra Bancho state, I have to reset the whole thing, right? That is basically what you're trying to do here. Let me go by the birdies. And I've basically showed you everything you got to know. Go to my um, buffer right here. We go back to Yanagi. Hold my E. Trigger my polarity disorder. But right now, I'm still, like, in the middle of explaining what it looks like. So, it's really just, like, swapping birdies. And gosh darn, you know, your buffer. And Yanagi around just to get all of the anomalies in. So I'm gonna get this. Yanagi comes back. You know what? Trigger and chain attacks are also just nice. Go to birdies here. And then finally, we're gonna go back to Yanagi. This is where we're gonna use our E. And then a bag. Pull up this order right there. This order again. I'm gonna do it one more time. This order again. That is just a really high burst, right? It was like three disorder there happening. And you know what? I'm gonna end it with an ultimate that also triggers a disorder. This is a boss after all. So I know for a fact I just gotta kill him, right? And that is how you burst with Yanagi. I'm sorry if it's confusing, but there's just too many things going on. I'm, hope I'm hoping you'll like maybe slow it down if you need to. Damage output wise, Yanagi is pretty darn high, but does it just like pile creep say even Jane though? Yeah, nah. Still really strong though. The burst window was insane. We're doing like over a million disorder damage easily. And with that, you basically know the main engine and the best team with Yanagi. We're gonna face that with 70 enemies this time. And I'll be focusing on playing it correctly. And let's just see our clear time, right? I'll see you once I decimate this. And here we go. We did use a minute 38 seconds on the first side so let's see how fast we can do it here we're gonna throw in burnings as i mentioned charge attack into the double flame through into my buffer into yanagi right away we're gonna go with our shinra bancho state after a special attack and well we already cleared the whole thing so here we're gonna spam for a bit right and then we're gonna get our burn effect up again with bernice here and right there we got him let me go ahead and hopefully you attack me if you're not you know what? i'm just gonna hard swap it and back to Yanagi right here. We're gonna go with our Shinra Bancho state again. You know what? I'm killing my ult right away. And this will activate polarity disorder already, right? Watch this damage right here. 485 into a lot more if I wish to, right? So I'm gonna wait right here into my Shinra Bancho state again. I don't have to use it, but the damage is just good though if I use it early. Now here I'm running out of afterburn. I'm gonna back to Birdies, charge attack into my oh wait. I kind of messed it up, but here we go. Double flamethrower. And let me go with a parry here with our Rita. Use her E back to Yanagi. Hold our um, E right here for our Shinra Bancho state. Um, well, I already messed it up. I kind of died here, but you know, let me come back to you. And well, we have our own again, so. Oh, dude, there's so many things going on. It's kind of tough. I'm going to just relax, man. You know, I, I already explained what's happening. I'm sure you guys understand. But yep, here we go. Polarity disorder again. And we have just done bursting them down in no time. How much did it go? I'm pretty sure I mentioned uh, it was a minute and a half for the first side. And we defeated it in a minute. Yeah. This is a team that can be considered as top tier for sure easily, right? And with that, you see the Valley of Yanagi. Honestly, it's also for the help of Bernice as well. The Yanagi looks so incredible, right? Bernice's burn with the afterburn is just helping her so much. Damage-wise, she does a lot of high instance amount of damage if you so decide to. Simply use your X special attack and trigger a polarity disorder. It does not just end the anomaly as well. That's why you can just spam it if you want to burst a boss down if they're low. And after which you can spam your basic, it does not fully reset. You go from the fifth hit to the third and then back to the fifth. And that's going to generate a bunch of electric anomaly. And that is how you're going to get your usual disorder effect as well. With the help of afterburn with birdies in the background. And once she runs over her field thing, you go back to birdies, hold charge attack into double flamethrower, get afterburn again and yeah that's pretty much it right i'm gonna show you how that works out my apologies by the way this is like 2 a.m i feel like i'm yapping so fast oh i need to catch a breath yeah, in any case guys that was probably yanagi's best team with bernie's with rita as well honestly the fact that if you're running rita you might want to use pen ratio on the right side instead of electric bonus but this is the most like versatile one you can use this in any team as a conclusion though should you be pulling yanagi well now i would say if you are a bernie's owner i recommend you to get yanagi because that's just like the perfect pairing. They work so well together. But if you don't have Bernice though, if you're thinking about Yanagi, it's not that you can't use them. It's just not that ideal, right? The simple reason being, there's no one else like Bernice. Who else can inflict an only as good as her, right? If there's any substitution that comes to mind, you can run, say, Piper. But Piper isn't that perfect for a Disorder team. Now, the thing is with Yanagi though, she also gets a lot of lightning damage bonus as well. So you can actually run a pure electric team. I say lightning, that means electric. Oh, dude, I'm so confused right now. A very standard pure 
electric team would consist of Yanagi and then Seth and then any buffer, right? And all you're hoping for is like lightning shock damage. I think there's gonna be a meme team that uses Anton as well to trigger the shock. I don't think that's gonna be a meme. I think that's gonna be pretty strong as well. So you know what? To close it off, if you have a Bernice, I recommend going for Yanagi as well. Complete the cycle. Finish the perfect team. Perfect setup. If you don't have Bernice though, then I would say wait for the next character, see what they do, and then decide if you want Yanagi, right? And that will be all for today. I need to go sleep now and take care.